Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another Photopea tutorial. This one is going to be an updated version of my how to make your images look amazing in Photopea. This one's going to be even better than that one. So stick around. I'm going to show you guys how to take your photos to the next level with some simple, easy steps. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to have your picture in Photopea, obviously. So once you have your image in Photopea, all you want to do is just select on your image, right? Go down here to this little half circle thing, click on it, then go to curves. And now you'll see this little drop down arrow. There's red, green, blue, RGB. We're just going to focus on red, green, and blue. So go to red and move the dot just a little bit up on this line. And do the same down here, but down instead. So like this. And do that for all of the colors. And you guys can adjust it a little bit differently than mine if you want. It doesn't have to be this way. But it is completely up to you. And this is just going to give our picture more life. So now once you're done, just close out of this. And go back down here to this little half circle. Go to brightness and contrast. Turn it up a little bit and turn the contrast up, but not too much because you don't want it to look like that. Just enough. And you can hide that layer to see the difference. So I'm just going to keep adjusting it. I think that's good. So click that again. Now go back down to the circle again and go to vibrance this time. You don't want to turn it too much as well on this one too. So just a tiny bit just to give it some more color because it, it's kind of lacking color. I think that's a good, good touch to it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add a sun ray coming through the trees. So all you want to do is just look up sun glare PNG and I'm going to go with this third option right here. Just copy that. Bring it back, control V to paste it, and here is our sun. I'm going to move it up here because the light is shining down on this like that. So I'm going to double click on this layer, the new one that we just brought in, and I'm going to change the color. So go to color overlay. I'm going to make it the color of the sun, which would be like whitish when you look at it. So whitish yellow. Let's do like, a, let's just do white. I'm going to free transform the sun and make it a little bit bigger. So it looks like it's actually doing something. And what you can do is you can go down here to this little rectangle with a circle in it. When you have your sun selected, click that. Now go to your brush tool. And whatever color this white box is, which, which is white, you want to have black. Or if it's a black box, you want to have white. So what it does is the black box basically erases it and the white one brings it in as you can see here. So if you want it to not be going through some areas, you can kind of brush it away like this to make it more subtle like that. Now what I want to do is I want to blur just this area back here. So go over here to this little water droplet and click the blur tool. I turn the size up so it's pretty big and the strength's at 50. Now I'm just going to start drawing over here to blur out the background like that. Just adding some blur in some places that I want it to be blurred. Like that. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to hit Control J on our background layer to make another copy. Then what we're going to do is click the top layer, the copy, go up to filter, blur, and motion blur. Turn this to however much you want. I guess I'll go with six. Hit OK. Now click this little rectangle with the circle in it to add a mask. And now if you go to your brush tool, we can repeat the process. So the black is going to erase the blur. So you just want to unblur the parts you want to be unblurred so I'm gonna get 
the stuff that's close by, like the ground and all that, but leave the background. Okay, sort of like this, you just keep drawing your brush and eventually you'll get there, like right now. So you can see it's kind of blurred on the edges in the background, so that's what we're going for. Um, I think it looks really nice so far. Let me know what you guys think. So if we hide all the layers, we can see the progress that we have done. Look at that. This is the base image. You start with the blur, and then you add in the sun. Then you add in the curves, brightness and contrast, and vibrance. So this is looking really good. That's all there is to it. You can go into a lot more depth, but this is all you need to make your photos look really good in Photopea. I hope this helped you guys. If it did, leave a like and subscribe. Check out my Patreon. I just made one. I'll be uploading a video on it soon. And you can get templates, graphics packs, exclusive stuff on there. So anyways, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.